Worried, excited, confused, tired. Stressed, didn't want house to burn down. Hot, cranky, felt sick, stomach in a knot. Not hungry. In at rush, packing, didn't want to miss any precious possessions. Fun dancing in the ash, on the dirt road. Then the big gust came along and I got scared. Frightened that I might lose someone close to me, AKA love. Losing my life and losing my house and Warburton, which is practically my life. Checking SES website 24 seven to see update on fire's whereabouts. Wanted some company from friends. Didn't want to fight with family, but did anyway. Didn't want to turn out homeless and needing money. People did, and I wanted to help them. I felt for the people that lost their homes, friends, families, pets, and more. On Black Saturday, the family was at the river, enjoying a nice cool swim after a long hot day. I knew something was wrong when I saw a cloud of smoke and the sun started turning a weird orange colour. Nature was strangely quiet. My little sister and I rushed over to tell mum. We thought it would be best to leave. A while after the fires, we returned home to carry on with our lives as we had left it before Black Saturday. My mum went up in a small aeroplane in early April and flew over Dixon's Creek, King Lake, Marysville, Hillsville, East Warburton, Powelltown and Jembrook. The photos show what destruction a fire can do and we are still coping with how the fire has impacted on us.